Yo, Dame Taylor. It's uh, like March. As you guys can see, I'm driving right now. So, doing a little better. Uh, legs doing good. But, um, I just want to do a video real quick about hate. Um, you know, my opinion on what hate is, I think hate really comes from a lack of respect and a lack of understanding. Um, give you an example. Um, there's certain basketball players, you know, being a sports fan, I would be biased to certain players and certain teams. And, like, there were certain players that I really didn't like. You know, like, I really hated these, like, players. Like, seriously, like, I really had, like, a serious hate for these guys. And, like, I had to really ask myself, like, why do I hate these guys? Like, I never even met these people before. You know what I'm saying? So, like, not going to really say that the people's names, but there were a couple athletes that I really, really didn't like. And I actually had the opportunity to meet one of the guys. Dude was one of the coolest people I ever met in my entire life. You know what I'm saying? And it was... You know, after that experience, I was really asking myself, like, well, why did I hate this guy in the first place? Because I didn't understand him. I didn't respect him. And uh, I don't think that's that was fair for me to hate somebody that I've never met, someone that I didn't understand. You know, I think that you can't really say you hate someone until you understand or until you know why or have a real reason why you hate them. And, you know, that really brings me to the topic of race. Um, you know, racism does exist. Um, and I really think it does exist in the people that really just don't understand why another race may be like they are. You know, whether it's something stupid or whether it's something that they just don't understand. You know, just like, for example, with black people, like, other races may not understand why black people can say the n-word and other races can't you know it is pretty weird it's pretty confusing i don't think there's anything wrong with anyone saying that but you know when it comes to something that is so touchy like that word maybe it shouldn't be used but i mean it is part of a black culture and in order to have other people not judge it or have opinions or to criticize it as something bad maybe having an understanding about it and then also having respect for the understanding even if it doesn't make sense to you it wouldn't be so bad or viewed or frowned upon, you know? And like, I think that ultimately is where hate comes from. And, you know, looking at the other, you know, other side, like, I mean, you know, to really just, you know, be clear about the situation, you know, black and white race, there are a lot of things that the black race does that the white race doesn't understand or can't relate to, or they've never experienced and vice versa. And, that's fine, you know, everyone's different, you know, it's like some people wear Nike, and some people wear Reebok, and some people wear Adidas, you know, to each his own, and I feel like there's nothing wrong with, you know, having different views, or different opinions, or different, you know, suggestions on certain things, but it's just a matter of respecting the person's difference, which will eliminate or prevent a person from hating, or being negative about it, you know, if you think that you're better than a person, or if you think what you do is better than a person, then you're probably going to look down on the other person and that can cause hate. And I think that in order to not be like that and get along with people, you got to kind of just, you know, just look at everybody equally, even if they're not equal, you know, like I have friends that haven't really accomplished much and I have friends that have accomplished 20 times more than I have. And I view all of them the same, you know, and because the people that are under me have the potential to be better than me and, and I have the potential to be better than the people that are over me and I was not who I was today I wasn't this person always you know I used to be a bum I was from the hood I you know I grew up in the hood and like uh, I've been fortunate to have opportunities come to me to where I'm not really like I used to be five years ago and so you know anything is possible man like to hate people, I don't agree with it, but I mean, in our society today, it happens, like, it's, it's gonna happen, you know, you're gonna hate people, but I just think that to hate an entire race, I don't think that that is fair or realistic or even possible, because there are amazing people in every single race, like, there's, 
amazing people, you know, I know amazing white people, I know amazing Hispanic people, I know amazing black people, I know amazing, like, Middle Eastern people, like, I know amazing, I just love people, yo, like, and then there's black people that I can't stand, there's white people I can't stand, and there's Hispanic people I can't stand, so it's not a matter of race, it's just a matter of a person, like, I just don't, I just dislike certain people, you know, there's people in my family that I can't stand, you know, there's people that I, I barely know that I like more than people in my own family. So it's like, I don't know, man. I just really just hate racism, man. I just hate, you know, stereotyping or judging the whole entire race because it's not fair, man. You know, you, you, got, you, got, you, got, you got black people who get on there. And, and at the end of the day, man, we represent each other as a race, you know. Like, I represent the black race. And, you know, if you're white, you represent your white race. And so, like... You know, as a whole, you know, say if you see 100 black people on TV, that does represent me. My skin color, it does. And it, it is kind of like a knock on me. But at the same time, you it's kind of hard to look past that. But you have to look past that. Because there are amazing people, you know. And it's like all of our hearts are the same color. Um, our skins are a different color. But, you know, we all have the same insides, man. And so, like, judge people on their heart. Judge people on their intent. Like, judge people on your interaction with them but just don't assume that a person is an ignorant person because it's not fair man and i know this video is long i know it's messed up i know it's dark or whatever i'm in a car i look like a bum but hey man at the end of the day i just want to pull over on the side of the road with my seatbelt still on and i just want to say that man like just in racism man and like, let's just interact and communicate and understand each other and respect each other, man. I think that's what's important. So, you know, comment on this. Let me know what you guys think about it, man. If you got any questions, like, I'd be more than happy to ask. But I just wanted to put this up, man. Hope you guys get it. Peace.